Okay, so it is time to sharpen my lawnmower blades. Uh, I have 19 inch blades here. They say general rule of thumb is every 25 hours of cutting or so. Some people say, you know, roughly, I don't know what, three to four times a season. If you really want to make sure you're, you know, keeping your equipment maintained for optimal performance and for obviously the best cut possible. Otherwise your grass, your grass blades will start to look like this. So you can kind of see it's starting to look a little ripped instead of an even slice or a cut. So um, it kind of it leaves that uh, yellowy haze on the grass. So I knew it was just about time to do this. I, I wanted to do it a couple weeks ago, but just didn't have time. So now it's time to do it and they were dull. So as you can see, this is the dull one. I haven't had a chance to um, do that one yet, but I already did the first one. So I wanted to show you how it looks and the results I got from the simple way I use to and I'll file the blades down. So um, obviously you can tell it looks it looks pretty, looks clean and sharp. So um, did a pretty good job by doing it the way I did it. There are better ways and more efficient ways to do it. Of course, if you have an angle grinder or a bench grinder, those are probably the best options with a flap disc or something like that. Or you can take them to, you know, an Ace Hardware or um, some other lawn specialty stores. And they usually charge around $10 a blade. But a lot of them I found that don't even do it on the spot. So it's kind of a hassle. You have to go in and drop them off and come back and get them. And I said, you know, I can do it better. Or not necessarily better, but more efficiently, I should say. Um, but so here's how it looks. Now, when you're doing this, I'm using a, what is this? This is an eight inch double-sided file, metal file. You can get this from, I think, Walmart or anywhere really for pretty cheap. It's under 10 bucks. I don't know, six, seven bucks, something like that. Obviously, there's a little bit of work that goes into it, manually filing these down. And especially too with the curvature here, you have to make sure you maintain the overall profile of this and you don't wanna um, sharpen it and get the edge rounded off. So um, you have to maintain the integrity of the blade just by going, you know, swift motions like that. Back in, or I just go in one motion. So it takes a little bit of time. And the hardest part, of course, is around this curvature, trying to get the, uh, the file in place here. But you just want to make sure you just do parallel i'm sorry it should be perpendicular to the edge of the blade so just keep it uh, straight going across and don't round it off so that's obviously the hardest part but it looks pretty good and so i'm going to show you how to do it here or at least how i'm doing it so come back a little bit here okay so Now this can take a little bit of time and effort, but if you do this more frequently, it won't be as bad either. So it'll make your lawnmower run more efficiently so it doesn't have to rip as much. And essentially you're gonna use less fuel and it's gonna be a lot easier on your mower. So as you can tell, I'm going straight across. I'm not going down or rounding it off. And it doesn't have to be super sharp. I think there's a misconception that these blades need to be razor sharp, but they don't really need to be. And of course, if you have a machine, you'll probably do a little bit better than file as far as sharpness and maybe quality, but if you do this frequently enough, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And then of course, I'm using my clamp here to hold it in place. I have a, um, I have a vice vice set. I haven't installed it yet on my workbench. So uh, that's that's gonna be a, another option. But if you don't, you can always use a good clamp or two. So that's pretty much how you do it. And then in here, you just kind of got to go slow and with the groove. Slow and deliberate is how I like to do this. And that's pretty much it. So. As you can see, it's getting there. It's going to take a little bit more time, but all in all, that's pretty much how you do it. So thanks for watching. Please uh, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys.